Hey friends, today we are checking in to Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort and I am so excited. I love staying here and we found a nice little deal on the annual pass holder discount uh, tab. So I decided to book a little staycation and make a little video showing you around the resort. We're going to check out all of the amenities. We're going to get something to eat and I'll show you the room and kind of have just a beautiful Wilderness Lodge kind of day. So anywho's let's go do this and here it is disney's wilderness lodge this is a deluxe disney resort in fact it's even considered a magic kingdom resort uh even though it's not on the monorail loop it's just a quick boat ride uh away from the magic kingdom and i love this resort it's themed after the wilderness you can see the animal tracks as you're walking in i would even say this is probably in my top three favorite walt disney world resorts I paid $400 for this room tonight, and that's with a 35% off annual pass holder discount. And uh, that's actually not a bad deal because the Wilderness Lodge usually goes for like seven, maybe $600. And during the holidays, it can go over $1,000 a night because a lot of people just love staying here. And like I said, I wanna give you guys like a, a nice little tour video, show you around, check out all the amenities, show you the, the, the room itself. And uh, in case you plan on coming to uh, stay here, here now you kind of know what it's like and also enjoy it myself because i just love being here one of the main reasons i love this resort as much as i do is because of the amazing lobby and the smell the smell inside this lobby just smells like the wilderness and the lobby is just so beautiful look at it in here it's so big and there's little tiny fireplace like nooks all around with rocking chairs here is the check-in area you got wood carvings. This is such a beautiful resort. I really do love staying here, so I can't wait to show you the room and show you around the resort. Inside the lobby, they have a geyser of water just running through the whole entire resort. It actually starts inside the lobby, and then you can see it just runs right on through the resort. And later on, I'll show you where it lands, and it is so beautiful, but look at that. Well, we can actually go outside. But let me let me take you outside here. Look at the rocking chairs here. Oh wow, what a beautiful day. I'm so excited to be staying here. Look at how quiet that is. Peaceful. This resort is amazing. And I think we're staying on this side and we're on the top floor. So we might go up to the room and uh, get all checked in. There are three different areas to Disney's Wilderness Lodge. They have uh, Boulder Ridge, which is DVC, and it's another building. And I can't wait to show you that later on because they have a special Walt Disney. Uh, well, it's uh, called the Carolwood Pacific uh, Room, and uh, it's dedicated to Walt Disney. And then they have Copper Creek right here, and then they have the uh, Copper Creek Cabins, and then the regular Wilderness Lodge. And today, uh, this is the first time I'm ever staying in like a regular Disney. Disney World in this Lodge room. I've only ever stayed in Copper Creek or Boulder Ridge, or I've even stayed in the cabins too, but I've never stayed here before, so I'm excited to show you the room. Wilderness Lodge definitely has a lot of food offerings. Like I mentioned, Whispering Canyon over there. And then they have uh, Territory Lounge, which is a nice little lounge. And then they've got Storybook Dining, which is a character dining with Snow White and the Evil Queen. All these places are good. And then you have uh, Warring Fork, Geyser Point. And I want to show you guys everything. But first, I want to get settled away. And our room is down here to the left. And I want to go up and and like I said, show you around, give you a little room tour, kind of put my stuff away. I got my Burlington suitcase with me, how I travel. <laughs> When you check in, you can always put in requests for like what floor you want to be on. And I always ask for the top floor. And this room is so cool because it's not, I don't even think it's a category. I don't think it's a theme park view. I think this is a resort view, but it's facing the Magic Kingdom and it's going to be amazing for the fireworks. And it all depends on which one you get. And I think, I think we got a great one. I think we got the good one. What can I say? I like to pack light and Burlington has the best deals, honestly. 
This room is amazing and I'm so excited. I had to turn on all the lights and get it ready so I can show you. And then I'm gonna uh, switch to my other camera because it's a wider lens so that you can see the room a little bit bigger in picture. And I'm excited, this is gonna be a great staycation. And here is our room. I love this room. We got a king size bed and we're on the sixth floor. And let me tell you something, the balcony and the view is the best part, but I'm gonna show you guys that last. Right now I wanna dive in and show you some of the cool details in the room. I love that we have this like artwork mural on the back and you got Chippendale up there tossing around an acorn. We've got a chair over here with a nice little uh, side table. The king bed, of course, a desk over there. And then we have the TV and uh, Paul Bunyan and another chair right here. And it has a very nice bathroom and a very nice little uh, kitchen area. In fact, it's got Bambi right there. And uh, down here you have the uh, refrigerator and then some of the uh, coffee. Ooh, it's the fancy cups. They bring out the fancy stuff with the Keurigs. And you got plenty of closet space. This one slides over. Very nice. And then this is the bathroom right here. And I love the light on the outside here. Look at that. Walk-in shower. This is the light I was talking about. I love this. You can control uh, like the uh, brightness on it too. You can shut it off. And it's on the other side. Right here. Very fancy. Nice little desk area. Yeah, I like the room. Now I'm going to show you guys the view. This is so amazing. Look at that. You can already see Cinderella Castle there. I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time out here. You got the contemporary, and like I said, we're on the sixth floor, so we're all the way up. There's no rooms on top of us, and there's nothing on each side here. It's kind of cool. I'll show you. On this side, you have like a little space here. See, so you got lots of privacy, and we're gonna be able to watch Happily Ever After. Isn't that gonna be amazing? This is gonna be such a beautiful view. Look, you can see the monorail going by. I get excited for monorails. And you can see the bay, you can see uh, Bay Lake over on this side. So we're gonna be able to see the water pageant, the fireworks show, all from our balcony here. The AC in this room is amazing because it's so hot and humid. It's like a curtain. When you walk in the room, it's just such a sigh and a relief. And I just really love it in the hair. I love just hanging out, listening to the TV, the Disney music, occasionally peeking over and seeing the castle or monorail, you know, drive by. Uh, and I can hang out here for a long time but i want to go out i want to explore the resort i want to show you all the activities and um, i mean there are so much to do and uh, i think we're just gonna go out and explore just hang out here is the quick service i was talking about on the way in roaring fork and i love the little desserts they have in here and the bakery items they have a very big bear claw that usually sells out i don't know i don't know if i'm ready for a sweet treat maybe Look at the desserts they have. This is a s'mores cake. Look, it's a graham cracker cake there. I'm definitely gonna come back and try that. And then they got a little bear cake here, like a bear dome cake, and even a little campfire uh, cupcake. Look at it. One of the best things you can actually eat on Walt Disney World property is this gigantic bear claw. And it's only served here at the Walt Disney World, uh, at Disney's Wilderness uh, Lodge. I almost said at Walt Disney World Resort, but look at that. Isn't it huge? Like my hand, I, I'm, I'm trying to give you something in comparison, but that's way bigger than my hand and head, and it's only $10. I'm probably gonna get one tomorrow morning. That's breakfast. I am gonna have to make it a point to come back and try that s'mores cake. I love marshmallows and graham crackers. I'm, I love s'mores and have like a s'more, I've never even heard of it. Usually it's kind of like a, like a tart or something like that. Uh, but now I wanna head down by the water, go check out the activities and show you around the resort more. The resort goes into like a little U and right in the middle you have Copper Creek Falls. This is the water I was showing you in the lobby, the geyser, and it literally falls down right here. Look how majestic this is. This is at a resort and the water comes right down to this little bridge here and it makes an illusion that it's going right into the pool. Isn't that so cool? That's the Wilderness Lodge magic right there. 
I just want to do a big like little wrap around of the resort show you around check out the pools and all the different spots you can get food and then we're gonna get all cozy hang out maybe by the pool I wouldn't mind going over to Boulder Ridge Cove which is like their pool over by Boulder Ridge because they have like little uh, cabanas that are free it's first come first uh, serve so you just go up and if it's available you can sit there and hang out so that's the plan just hang out and enjoy the Wilderness Lodge we're gonna make our way down to Geyser Point and Reunion Station. They have a lot of really cool activities. Right now, there's, uh, I think, lightning in the area, so they closed the pool. But it's also a good time for me to give you a look at the pool. They have a nice little water slide here. Copper Creek Springs. And this is right in between uh, the uh, resort itself, right, right in the middle from the lobby. And they have another pool over by Boulder Ridge, but I'll show you that later, because I like that one a little bit better. I think we're gonna get something to eat. We checked in super early uh, in the My Disney Experience app. You can check in like mobily, and uh, as soon as they allowed me to do it, I uh, just do the check in, and uh, supposedly you get your room around four, but I got mine at like 1 p.m. So I was like, oh, let's go now. And the room was ready, came in, and now it's like we have an extra day of exploring the resort because we're not even supposed to be here for like another 45 minutes. The one thing I love so much about the Wilderness Lodge is that it's just so quiet. Here's a map of the whole entire resort. We are staying over here, and this is the main lobby here. This is Copper Creek, then they have Boulder Ridge. We are down here by the water near Reunion Station, and I love just being able to walk around here. They got like, you know, boulders over here, like a Boulder Ridge. You got a little Mickey, uh, 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 Mickey topiary there. And then, uh, oh, the cabins are right over here. I love it. The theming is just amazing here. Right now, I want to take you over to Boulder Ridge. This is a uh, Disney Vacation Club, but when you stay at the Wilderness Lodge, you're welcome to all of the amenities at the, the uh, Boulder Ridge Villas. And they have like a mini lobby and a little nook over there that's just so beautiful. Oh, you can hear the thunder out there. And the thunder rose. Even though this lobby isn't as big as the other one, I still love it just as much. It's got good music too. Look at it in here. And it's got the little fireplaces that I was talking about. Look at that. I could sit here and just rock away. Rock away. This is what I'm talking about. It actually reminds me of uh, the Grand Californian. Uh, I love sitting there in front of the fireplace, especially if you got wet shoes. This is how you dry the dogs. <laughs> this is how you dry the dogs. <laughs> This is the Carolyn Pacific Room, and it's actually named after Walt Disney's love of uh, the railroad. And it actually has its first attraction in here. And you can actually sit down on little rockers here. And the train is actually right here on display. And you can come and actually see, this was in, in Walt's backyard. Isn't that crazy? You know the pictures of him just sitting on there? That, like, this is it. I think they actually have the picture probably over on this wall over here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's so nice. Isn't it cozy in here? Right here. Look at him. Right in his backyard. That is so fancy. This room is so nice. And like I said, that's, it's, it's a part of the Wilderness Lodge. There's actually a movie about it or a little film. And I think they have, uh, I come here this much. I know all the, I know all the stuff. <laughs> Look at, they actually have a piece of the original uh, motion picture uh, negative. I love that. Walt right there on the train that you just see over there. I wanted to just show you inside Boulder Ridge for a second, but now I think we're gonna head to the Territory Lounge and get some food. They have a popcorn sampler there and uh, some re also really good food, but just a little snack because we're still gonna get dinner later on tonight. Territory Lounge was back in the main lobby. We're gonna go in that way, but first I wanna stop into the gift shop. I always like to look at the Wilderness Lodge merch, you know? They actually have a fireplace inside the gift shop. I've never realized that. The only thing is, is it's not that cold outside. I can see on a nice little rainy day, they'll come hang out with the mooses and dry off. I wouldn't mind that. I love how they have Wilderness Lodge like merchandise. Well, they also just have like Smokey the Bear merchandise. And I think that's so cool. Prevent fire, fi uh, fire, <laughs> forest fires. And uh, this one over here is give a hoot. Don't pollute. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. I love that. 
They even have their own uh, Wilderness Lodge ears. Look at these. These are actually really fancy. It's Mickey on a horse, and they have a, a bathrobe, a shirt, and a backpack. The backpack is really cool. This is all new Wilderness Lodge merch. Oh, they even have the statues. I actually bought this the first time I ever stayed here. I made a video. Let me know if you guys remember seeing that video. I came here and I stayed at Wilderness Lodge and I said I wanted to get a collectible from every resort. And I remember I bought this. I still have it to this day. Here is the Territory Lounge that I was talking about before. It's such a cool little spot to come and get something to eat or if you want to get some drinks. And it's got a really cool ceiling. It's actually a map. And they got a special popcorn flight. The popcorn sampler, it's called the Territory Popcorn Sampler. It's spicy caramel, sea salt, truffle, and barbecue flavored pop popcorn for $12. Look at that. That's actually pretty not too bad. And they also have a lot of other good items on there. I like it, I think we're gonna try it. Oh, I like this menu. Before we get to the popcorn sampler, I had to go back to get the roaring s'more. Look at this. I'm still shocked that that's a graham cracker cake and then marshmallow and chocolate mousse and then there's another like it's like a like a smoked marshmallow uh, on top with a white chocolate Mickey. I think this is uh, I have high hopes for this being amazing. There we go. That's what I was trying to achieve. A little bit of everything in one bite. Holy popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. One of these two is going to be truffle, the other is going to be sea salt. Impossible to tell by sight, but by taste, the truffle is very abundant. Sea salt, well, it's sea salt popcorn. Speaking of things that are pretty standard right there, caramel corn, standard regardless of where you go, but hey, we do it pretty well over here. Brownish hue back here is going to be our mesquite barbecue. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat, nothing too crazy on either side, a nice balance, if you will. And back here, the reddish hue is our spicy. Take that balance, throw it out the window, keep running with it, it's hot. Wow. Just mix, match, and enjoy, folks. Thank you. Of course. The s'mores cake is actually really good. The marshmallow is really hard to actually cut through. I like it a lot, but I got excited because the popcorn's here. Now we got a lot of snacks. I mean, I, I just needed to know about that s'mores. I couldn't walk away. I couldn't walk away. And now I got a bunch of popcorn, but it's all right. I'm here for it. I'm on vacation. This is such a great deal for the the amount that this costs. You get a lot of popcorn, and you get such a variety, too. We're going to try them all. I, I'm excited. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start with the caramel one. Look, you can actually see it's all nice and carameled. Carameled. I don't know which one is the uh, truffle one, but it's pretty pungent, as he said, so we'll find out. That's truffle. <laughs> and that's the one. So that means this one's got to be the sea salt. We got a little barbecue over here. Oh, the barbecue is nice. I like that. And I don't know what this one is. I, I already forgot this one. But I like it. But I like it. Ooh, spicy. Holy moly, it is a little spicy. I don't know if I like that one. Honestly, I think the caramel one is my favorite than the barbecue, and that one is spicy. In fact, I think that flavor that I couldn't remember is just spicy. Wow, I love the music in here. I feel like uh, the, the Mighty Ducks too. That's got an amazing soundtrack. And if you don't eat all your popcorn, they give you little to-go boxes so you can actually take it with you. I got five boxes of popcorn. Enough of the popcorn business, but I have to say I really did like most of those flavors except for the spicy one It just caught me off guard uh, and the s'mores cake was delicious I love the graham cracker cake that they had at the bottom. I don't even think that existed and uh, I'm glad that we got to try it now uh, I think I'm gonna head up to the room relax a little bit and I was lucky enough to grab a reservation at Whispering Canyon Cafe I was tossed up between Whispering Canyon and uh, Storybook Dining, but I I'm in the mood for some barbecue I'm constantly just excited whenever I get back up to the room to just look out at the castle here. The castle. Look at that. It's going to be a beautiful sunset too. You can see the sun setting over there. I wonder if I could watch the sunrise from here. That would be kind of cozy. Wow, what a night. And the fireworks are later. Now I think we're going to get something to eat at Whispering Canyon.
I could no lie hang out here for hours just staring out at the castle, the sunset. I love watching sunsets and sunrises. I, I wish I could wake up tomorrow for the sunrise, but I haven't been sleeping that well and I've been sleeping in. I gotta get back on schedule. Just the building itself is beautiful. I love walking around and seeing the carpets and even the little tiny nooks and corners. Like, look at this. I love this. This is the hotel itself. Like, these are just the hallways and they overlook the Magic Kingdom even from here. I love that. Like, it's so cool out. I am more than likely to carry this vlog over till tomorrow. I just don't know if I'll wake up to watch the sunrise. It's one of my favorite things. I love coming to the resorts, hanging out and watching the sunrise. Uh, but I want to show you the breakfast tomorrow and then also parts of the resort that I'm not going to be able to show you tonight and just kind of explore a little bit more. But tonight, uh, like I said, we're going to get something food and just hang out and watch the fireworks from the balcony of the room. Now it's time to go check in at Whispering Canyon Cafe. I am starving at this point. I love this restaurant. It's really, you never know what could happen. Whispering Canyon Cafe. Join us in the dining room hall for some mighty fine food. We got stories, games, and even a song or two. So get ready to join in. And they have all you can eat skillets where it comes with like different types of meat for $40 a person. Uh, and I can't wait. My mom and sister love it here. I always like to come and it's actually right in the main lobby. Well, as soon as you walk in, it's tucked away to the left. And it's got a view. You can see everybody just hanging out, relaxing, taking their time. Whispering Canyon Cafe is a rowdy time and it can get a bit sassy in there. Uh, I remember I brought my mom and sister and you know like the, the, the cast members they'll throw straws at you, they'll put you in jail, make you run around the restaurant. There's a lot of that happening and uh, I, I'm just gonna partake in a little bit. I'm mostly here for the food because I love coming here and just eating all the time and I want to show you the skillets and maybe a dessert too. Here is the menu and the all-you-care-to-enjoy uh, signature skillets that I was talking about are right here. And they have uh, a couple different versions, and it's $40. And you get the traditional, the land and sea, the plant-based, and the pig. And then all those different items. And it's pretty good, like I said. And then you get a bunch of other stuff. Comes with uh, fresh baked cornbread, coleslaw, and uh, corn, green beans, sausage. I'm probably going to get that. On top of the all you care to enjoy signature skillets, they also have all you care enjoy shakes. Hey, how are you? Are you done? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just getting out. Oh my, you're just getting started is really what you're saying. Yeah. It's all about you, okay? It's about me. The cornbread has come. <laughs> we got cornbread, barbecue, and coleslaw. The barbecue sauce comes on the side now, but look at how delicious this cornbread looks. Oh my lord, it's so hot and soft and butter. Look at that. I know this trick though. Don't get full on the cornbread because everything else is all you can eat. And that's it. You got to save it for the meats. And this is why I did not get full on cornbread. The skillet has arrived literally minutes after the cornbread. And we got mashed potatoes, sausage, chicken, ribs, corn, pulled pork. Green beans. Oh, nice to see you too. <laughs> a lot of great stuff. I mean, I'm excited. I'm going to dive in. Even a little pepper in the corn. Yeah, a little peppercorn. Hey! I think I'm going to start with the ribs. Look at that. Oh, and they even give you a little back. The, the end piece of the ribs. That's one of my favorites. Here we go. The ribs are so good. But I like to get a little bit of the pork and a little bit of the mashed potatoes. Get a little bit of everything in one bite. Mm. And if you want to get more food, like say you just want to get ribs, you can just get more ribs or more pork or more corn. You don't have to get the whole skillet and things will come out in little smaller portions. I don't know how much more I can eat though. If I finish just one, that's a lot of food. They need ketchup. <laughs> Thank you. I got a refill and some brisket. The brisket is so good. Nice and tender. And it's got a good mixture of uh, like fat to non-fat. 
And I like the barbecue sauce. I like that it's on the side at least, and you don't have to have the mustard one. I can't get over my little tiny mason jar. Is that what this is, a mason jar? Oh no, this is just a regular little mug. <laughs> I asked for a refill, and these are the two drinks that I got. I should try to finish it all. That would be a, I don't even know if I can, oh my lord. I'm gonna lift it up from the top there. That's a heavy drink right there. I feel like I got a, like a gallon of milk here, or a jug of milk. I tried just about everything, and honestly, I think my favorite thing was the brisket, the mashed potatoes, and the cornbread. But oh, now I don't know about going swimming. <laughs> Whispering Canyon was amazing, like always. Now I am so full, and you can see the sass there. I love the cup game, though. That was really fun, and uh, I just love the atmosphere. Now I don't know what uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess maybe get ready for the fireworks. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Honestly, I wish I could stay here and just record it all. Watching the sunset now is kind of making me feel like I should probably go down and maybe go swim for a little bit. We have an hour before the fireworks and honestly, the weather's looking pretty nice right now. I mean, it looks so nice outside. The sunset that's about to happen is gonna be a glorious one, a glorious sunset. I wanted to get in the pool before it got completely dark out, and I love seeing Wilderness Lodge all lit up like this. I don't want to go to this one though, I think I'm going to go to the one that's over at Boulder Ridge. Boulder Ridge. Sometimes I get my speech impediment in there and I mistake my R's for my W's. Watch your rabbit. They have a huge jacuzzi and usually there's tons of people in there, but there's no jacuzzi, there's, no, there's nobody in it right now. Oh, it's because it's closed. Dang it. I, I almost got excited, but this is the uh, Boulder Ridge pool. It's actually a really nice quiet pool and it's got some really cool theming to it. Kind of has a big uh, like construction, like boulder removal feel to it. And the pool doesn't have a water slide, but it's got a big like crane in the center there. I like it. Like I said, I'd much rather a nice quiet pool. It's a nice walk-in pool. And these are the cabanas that I was talking about before. Look at them over there. It's first come, first serve. Like these aren't private. They're not reserved for anybody. You can just come grab your stuff and hang out over here. And they're so nice, so cozy. Except for that one. It's got a flicker and light. I wouldn't want to hang out there. <laughs> Look at it. Our own private cabana. Too bad everything is soaking wet. <laughs> okay, that was actually really nice, but it's getting dark out and it's getting cold. I got out of the pool, which is the worst mistake. The pools are heated here and uh, it's like a nice warm tension, like temperature, but at night, if you get out, it actually is pretty cold. But I also noticed the towels are fresh. Fresh, it looks like they just came out of the dryer. Ah, I'm bald. I think it's time to head up and watch fireworks. I forgot to pack my Crocs. Now I'm gonna have wet sneakers for the rest of the staycation. Hey, how are ya? Thank you. Right outside by the pool, they have Geyser Point. This is a nice little area where you can grab drinks and they have a really nice bison burger. Usually they have s'mores and some other activities. Oh look, you can see some more of the animal tracks on the ground right there. I don't, I love that. It's the little things that count to me. Like I wonder where this animal went. Just went right, right, right through those bushes there. It's starting to get dark out, and I think the Happily Ever After is at 9.20, and we might have to pump in the music from the TV, like hit it exactly at the same time, old school style. They have Happily Ever After just right here, and you can just press play exactly at 9.20, and it should start. Bum, bum, oh! Bum, bum, bum. And then we're going to have it right here. Look at that. Wow, the sunset is actually coming out amazing. We're probably gonna just call it a night after the fireworks. I need to rest up a little bit. I wanna wake up tomorrow and enjoy the resort a little bit more, get one of the bear claws, and just kinda of relax. I wanna relax at the Wilderness Lodge, but first, I'm very excited. Happily, I think it's only like two minutes away.
Oh, look, it's starting. I can see it. Ready to begin. Let the wonder take hold. I wish they'd pump in the music, but this is just really nice. Sit on my balcony. <sighs> I'm telling you, this is like, this is just as good as the contemporary. I wonder if we're gonna be able to see Tink come out. Oh, I see her. The fireworks were amazing. I love just sitting out on the balcony watching the fireworks. And I said, it's just as good as the contemporary or the beach at the Polynesian. And now I figure we'd uh, call it a night, go to bed, wake up early, get ourselves a bear claw and enjoy the morning at the resort and then check out. So uh, I'll see you in the morning. And good morning, Magic Kingdom. Look at that. Oh, I'm in love with this balcony and view. And it's going to be a great day waking up and seeing the contemporary. Well, I had a beautiful night and I got plenty of sleep. I love the Disney pillows here. And I tried to get a boarding group for Tiana's this morning at 7 a.m. And I was right on like the like millisecond and I still didn't get it. I, I didn't get it. I missed it. Uh, I was like right there. I woke up at 6.55. I was ready. We had the countdown clock. As soon as it hit that literally 7 a.m., I just refreshed and it, it was gone. And uh, yeah, I guess it... I, I guess it's popular now. I mean, a lot of people are trying to, it just opened up two days ago. So more people are probably trying to get it early in the morning. Uh, and now I think it's time to head down and get some breakfast. I think there was a particular bear claw that I had my eyes on that I wanted to revisit. And uh, then we're going to hang out at the resort for a little bit longer. 11 a.m. is checkout, but kind of want to take it all in. Honestly, I wish they just played the Wilderness Lodge music on the TV so I couldn't, so I don't have to listen to it on my phone. The Wilderness Lodge music makes me feel like I'm on a great adventure to get a bear claw. <laughs> Earlier, I was talking about how when you come out in the morning, there's usually nobody here. And look at this. Nobody at the rocking chairs by the fireplace. Just a very few people in the lobby. Gives you more time to appreciate everything. Because they put a lot of work in here. The detail is just immaculate. I like coming in the morning. A little bit more peaceful. I've been thinking about this bear claw since we left it yesterday. And I said I was coming back for it in the morning. And look at that. There it is. These things are so big. Look at this. Holy moly. You need like two. Wow. That was actually very quick. <laughs> that is a huge bear claw. This bear claw is literally the size of my head. Look at that. That's craziness. And uh, I don't know. I think I'll start off with a little finger. I'll take this one right here. It's a pull up. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Oh, I caught that. It didn't roll down. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is a mess, but to the bear claw. I don't care what anyone says about Mickey waffles or churro Mickey waffles. 
this is the best Disney breakfast item on all of property. Like, just the value. This can feed a whole family. And it's so good. Look at all the cinnamon, the nuts. That is huge. This is such... I love it. I'm obsessed with the Bear Claw Wilderness Lodge. Of course, it's probably not the best thing to eat on a vacation because it's so big and there's so much sugar, but... Hey, hey, hey. I'm on vacation. <laughs> Honestly, this big part right here has so much stuff just stuffed on the inside there it'd be interesting to see how they make this how they like kind of make it a cinnamon roll but a bear claw it's got to be really cool i didn't want to sit down there anymore because i wasn't making any progress with the bear claw so i brought it back up to my room so i can hang out here and look at beautiful cinderella castle i love sitting up here Nothing like bear claws and a beautiful view. Oop. <laughs> ah, the yellow jacket! <laughs> Yo! That was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me! Goodbye! Please don't come back! He's back! He's back! Oh boy, he's going in the hole. He's coming in the room! That was no yellow jacket, that was a wasp. And, uh, he, oh, he's coming back out again. He's going in and out of that vent there. I don't know if I want to sit out here. I think he wants the bear claw. See, everybody wants the bear claw. And, you know, it's the wilderness lodge. You'll see all types of wildlife. I love hearing the boats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, well, enough of the wasp business. I got my uh, Burlington suitcase all packed up and ready to go. And I think we'll go uh, hang out in the resort for a little bit and uh, finish up the video. I decided to come outside so we could start walking around the resort and I wanted to show you our room. Our room was that one right there at the very top and we're facing Cinderella Castle and they have the cabins all over here. But one thing I want to point out, one of the reasons I love coming to stay at Wilderness Lodge is because you have grill amenities. A lot of DVC resorts, almost all of them will have grills, but these ones are just so nice. And this is, as long as you're staying at uh, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, this isn't just for the uh, the uh, cabins there, and I love that. I've, I've I've had cookouts at Disney resorts plenty of times. Well, look at isn't this like the perfect place, especially for a birthday or anything? Early morning walks like this is the best. Like I said, I usually like to stay, like do little resort staycations, but my favorite part of the time is waking up early, catching the sunrise. Today, I was more trying to get on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which I failed. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know what I want to do is sunrise, but then I was like, I want to make sure I get the 7 a.m. boarding, and it, and it didn't happen. I'm telling you, I was so close, but I've already ridden it. I'm, you know, I love the ride, and it's only been open for a couple of days now, so it's going to be busy for a while uh and at least at least i got to stay here man i'll tell you look at this look at just it's so cozy walking around here and it's crazy to think that all that hustle and bustle of the magic kingdom is literally just like across the water yeah right here you actually take the boat and the boat will take you over to the magic kingdom well, I guess I'm going to have to say I had a beautiful staycation. I loved being here. It was beautiful waking up and watching the fireworks last night. Very cozy and the food was great. But uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would want to stay here, if you think it's worth $400 a night because that's how much I paid for it with the annual pass discount. Or if it's worth like $600, which the regular rate is. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.